earthquake, strange, huge tsunami, New York City. This is a dream from one of my regular viewers, Anthony. He's one of our subscribers. And he had two prophetic dreams. We're going to talk about them both, okay? We're going to do them in numerical order, first things first. And then um, I will finish with my typical Pat Love commentary. This is crazy. Listen to this. Now, this is going to be a dramatic narration. I'm not reading. I'm just checking my notes to make sure I don't leave out details. Okay. Here we go. I was on the island with my friends somewhere. This was a beautiful day. Perfect. We went to the beach. Okay. The water was clear blue. The air was beautiful. The day was gorgeous. I could see all the way to the bottom of the water. It was so crystal clear. And I could see the little fish swimming around. It was so pretty. So we're walking along the shoreline, right? Okay. And all of a sudden, I feel the shaking. We had an earthquake. And I looked at my friends and we said, okay, stop, no biggie, we'll keep on enjoying our stroll. We figured, okay, it's over with. <laughs> and I noticed the water. And I looked at the water and I noticed something really strange. The water got real still and quiet. And it stopped rolling forward in the little waves like they do when they're crashing on the beach. The water started receding it was a little scary because I knew what that meant. And all of a sudden, another earthquake. Boy, I hollered at my friends, uh-uh, let's run to the, to the hills, run to higher ground, just run. Come on, you guys, let's run. So we're running and running and running. And then I noticed a hotel. And when I noticed this hotel, I'm telling everybody, come on, let's get up to the hotel and, you know, get to the top floor. I look behind me to check to see what's happening. And I see this huge tsunami. And here's the trip. I also saw something big, a big black circle at the bottom of the ocean. It was really weird. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, this tsunami was huge, bigger than anything I've ever seen. So we're running up the stairs as fast as we could. And we got to the 20th floor, to the roof. And we get out on the roof and we can see the tsunami is crashing in and is knocking things over. And I'm telling you, next thing I know, I'm up in the air, up flying up in the air. And I looked and I could see New York City. Okay. As soon as I saw New York City, I woke up. But let me tell you something. That dream I had over a month ago, right? That dream is so, it felt so real. It's still crystal clear in my mind right now. That was dream number one. We're going to go to dream number two, and we're going to do that on another video, so stay tuned. This is really scary. These kind of dreams that people are having, God is really trying to warn us. Everybody I've gotten these dreams from, they're born-again Christians. And even some that are on my comment section who aren't even Christians are having these dreams. Something's really getting ready to happen. We don't know where. Some people are having them. A lot of people are having them in New York and Manhattan. That's kind of scary, you guys. This guy was was in um, in Long Island somewhere. So anyway, just, just, you know, pray, you guys. Because judgment doesn't have to hurt so bad if we could pray and, and really turn God's heart. Maybe he'll repent of some of the things that are pending 
We don't need a pending doom. Not in New York City. All these places that could so easily be destroyed. We don't need that, you guys. Let's pray. Pray mighty, as the old folks used to say. Pray with all your heart. The, the Bible says, The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Pray.